Alrighty then, back once again for another reaction. This time it's Star vs. The Forces of Evil, Season 2, Episode 15A and 15B, Raid the Cave and Trickstar. Now, I wasn't happy about having a hiatus. You weren't happy about having a hiatus, but there was one, and now it's over. Well, it's been over for a while, but it's over now for me because I finished posting Ruby and I can finally get back to this. So please stop leaving me comments about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording this on the 1st at 7.15pm and I am aiming to uh, get all of the rest of the season done tonight. So without further ado, let's hop back inside and see just how things are going to develop from here. Because Star has finally realised how she feels about Marco, so I assume we'll be dealing with that whole mess later. But right now, the more pressing concern is that Ludo has the spellbook. And with a title like Raid the Cave, I can only imagine that Star's first thought now is to go and chase her book down. And Trick Star, I think I heard something about a magician in that one. So is he like called the Trickster or something? And it's like a double pun. I have no idea about that, so whatever's going to happen in Raid the Cave is going to be definitive then if this isn't like a full full length episode. Only one way to find out though, let's go Raid the Cave. It would help if I had these in, wouldn't it? It's just the intro things. <laughs> Gonna get a little weird, gonna get a little wild. I ain't from round here, I'm from another dimension. Gonna have a good time. I'm from another woohoo! Yeah! I'm talking rainbows, I'm talking puppies. Ba 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 ba. Gonna get a little weird, gonna get a little wild. I ain't from round here, I'm from another dimension. I've missed doing that. What are you doing? <laughs> you know what, Jackie? Can I can I call you back? Look, Star, this is a stressful situation. I get that. But would it kill you to slow down for a second? You have no idea how stressful the situation is, Marco. I mean, do you really That's the funny thing. This vintage laptop and this purpley bubbly tea thingy. Why don't you try some breathing exercises? I don't have time to breathe. So I take I it she's packing for the raid. <laughs> Aww. Need some help there? No! I am a strong, independent warrior princess. With fists like hammers. At the very least, you should give your mom a call. Someone has to fill her in. No, no, no. You cannot call my mother. She'd kill me if she found out about this. Ludo stole my book. He, he Wouldn't took she Warwick. rather kill Ludo? I made this mess. And I'm going to be the one who cleans it up. And so, brave and banish the wicked humans from the land. Mm, from precious on, babies. The monsters had all the corn they could eat. I told you your backpack was too heavy. But Frog, I need to know where Ludo's hiding. I think he's planning something big. Yes, I know. Did you not get my letters? Letters? You mean these? <laughs> ah, so that's banner. what happened with Seriously. them. Who writes warning notes in crayon? Oh, so I not go to school for learn fancy handwriting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I make this map when I infiltrate Ludo's lair. I mark secret entrance here. Thank you, Buffrog. This is exactly what we need. <laughs> <laughs> need some help there? <laughs> Devil, thank you. You do not need Big Bag. Hey! Only need Wand. Yeah, what did you think you were going to do with all that stuff in that bag? Hey, th th they've got cool designs. Hmm. Oh, I think I've seen that as a preview image. Them huh? charging on the Warnercorn. Yeah, that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I love how nonchalant some of the monsters are in this series. I'm really enjoying the animation here. There's, there's this nice sort of tone or shade to everything. Everything looks like a little bit crisper. I can't really explain it. Where's Ludo? Ludo? Don't you play dumb with me? <laughs> I know he's here. Hey guys, I know it's lame, but uh, we gotta make a chore chart or something. That shower is grody. Oh no. Violence. Okay, we hate contributing to monster like stereotypes. Monsters. We're alternative monsters. Then what's up with all the weapons? We found them here when we moved in. They're perfect for tearing fashionable holes in clothes. Oh, where have I heard your voice? Yes, now, dude. Oh, that is gonna this bug me. This really is abandoned. <gasps> this was I could tell it's from time. a favorite character oh, of mine as well. Wasserig. Who knows what horrible things Ludo's doing to him? Well, you tried. And now we can both agree I think I need to hear her to talk again. Mom for, for the last time, Marco, we're not calling my mom! Whoa, hey, calm down. You're not seeing the situation clearly. Seeing clearly? That's it. The all-seeing eye? Spell. Since when do you know a spying spell? Uh... Since I learned it. A while ago. You weren't there. And I need to do it alone. No distractions. Nice jeans, dude. Can I dye them for you? Hard pass. <laughs> so where is Ludo right now? I to tear a hole to let me spy. Or was it in the sky? Oh. Ow. Well, that wasn't it. Oh yeah, that's right. No I book to read from. All seeing eye. <laughs> Lovely. Ew. I summon the all-seeing eye to tear a hole into the sky. Yes, that's Reveal it. Reveal to me that which is hidden. Unveil to me what is You remembered hidden. it. Good job. Even though you're using Eclipse's magic. <laughs> what? Oh, not you. Aw. Oh, no, 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 no. Jenna! Jenna, you scoundrel. No! No! She's an amazing oh, scoundrel. No. Marco! Sorry. <laughs> that was funny. Concentrate. Concentrate on Glosseric. Oh, I, I was going to say, that almost sounded like a baby. Don't worry, I'm coming oh. to rescue you! Mm. <laughs> pudding! Pudding? A whole tub of pudding. Where are you? In flavor heaven! No, physically, where are you? On the ground? No, where In are my you book? in the universe? Oh, right. I'm <laughs> in a cave. On the ground. Glosseric, come on! The spying spell doesn't work that way. You were able to fire magic through it, though. Uh, Jackie's skateboard. She's dipping down. I love it. <laughs> I have never seen that before. Fascinating. Oh, no can do. Sorry. I belong to the book, and the book belongs to Ludo now. Yeah, Ludo, kind of figured that was why. Yeah, uh, well, that's out of my hands. Come on, Glosseric. I can almost reach you. Come on. Yes, you are surprisingly close. Glosseric, <laughs> don't you want to come with me? I thought we were friends. Friends? Well, that's such a simple concept. Hmm, interesting way of putting that. Glossary, come on! My mom is gonna ground me for like a thousand years! Yes, probably, but you'll be fine. Or not. Anyway, your spell is collapsing. But I need you! Maybe this is what you need. Oh, wise! <sighs> Fend for yourself for a bit. <sighs> 
Star? Are you okay? Yeah, my hand's fine. But that's not what I meant. Well, Glosseric is no longer on the team. I never really saw Glosseric as a team player anyway. <laughs> of course, Marka. Oh my gosh, it is her! We just realized you're Star Butterfly! And we oh, want autographs. <laughs> um, I think you're confused. Monsters hate me. Well, sure, it's not popular to like you, but we're not about that. Yeah, <laughs> you're the rebel princess. Rebel princess? Yeah, you do things your own way, <laughs> like us. Please, shoot us with a spell. Rip some awesome holes in our jeans, something. <laughs> um, I guess I could cast something. How about Super Strawberry Shakeway? <gasps> nice. Wow, that is awesome. I'd love to be able to just make up random spells. Rip. Let's go show the guys. Dude, I can't believe we met Star Butterfly. Hmm. So, what now? Now, I call mom. Okay. So, that's pretty much it. Oh no, this is really bad, huh? I messed up. I really messed Aww, up. Oh, star. I am so sorry, uh, mommy and daddy. Sweet oh, mommy and daddy. <laughs> it's okay. But the book of spells. <laughs> Our, our our family history it's all gone don't worry it's just a book and a little magic man what matters is you're safe but isn't there anything i can do don't do anything <laughs> we'll handle this you just sit tight stay out of trouble dear <laughs> whoa that went way better than i expected uh yeah i guess so you know you should just take your parents advice and Sit tight. Right. Good night. What, and be alone with her thoughts? <laughs> Rebel princess doesn't sit tight. Rebel princess does things her own way. Rebel princess is best princess. Oh. Mega Norwal Blast. Oh yeah, do you not remember the routine? Oh, oh, that's cool. Chapter one, Mega Narwhal Blast. Wow. Okay. Hurry up, Star. I don't want us to miss the cake. I wonder what flavor it is. I hope it's hogberry. That's not a thing on Earth. Seriously? <laughs> oh man, you guys are really messing out. You know, I think I'll hold on to my gift until I see Sensei. Don't worry, Marco. There's some room. Yeah, so it's right. a kid's party, so I'm assuming the magician's going to show up. They can really throw a party. <laughs> Jenna, I see on, you. I want to give him his birthday punches. Be careful. He knows Tang Sudo, sort of. Yeah, to the relevant oh. videotape. <laughs> I, I caught it. Me next. Got it. Uh, this is a henna tattoo, right? Yeah, hmm. henna, Jenna. I can do whatever name you, you want. Oh, hey, Sensei! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick my <laughs> master! You said it, yeah, Star. you're sensational. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. But you ain't seen nothing yet. The great Preston Changeo is performing! Okay, Preston Changeo. Give it! Mr. Horse Claudia. Preston Changeo come! Uh, oh, what? Are those the parents of that German girl? Convention? That's something you want to let a sister know. Oh, Preston's not a magic user. He's an entertainer. He does magic tricks. <laughs> Trouble at my party? <laughs> I know Vince again. <laughs> Whoa, airbender. Oh, the meat. Speaks. What? He has okay. Preston Changer. Why do I get the feeling that he is really magic? Okay, <laughs> just just stick your head in my armpit there. <clears throat> 
Preferentino. Does it stink? <laughs> Neat. Let's get closer. Hold your ball, Marco. That little guy is using magic. All right, everybody, watch the rain. I have a feeling that she's actually right. That's not magic. There's a gap in one of those rings. I saw it on TV. Oh, you do magic, do you? You don't wash behind your ears. Preston <laughs> 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 Ear money. It's yeah, that is actual awesome. magic. Hi, Mom. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> More dirty ears. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a pencil. Oh. Oh, this is weird, Al, isn't it? <laughs> what just happened? Did your hat just get bigger? You are magic. Yes, my dear. That's the nature of being a magician. And a good day to you. Marco! Preston's a real magician! He said so himself. It's a part of his act. <laughs> this wasn't an act. Look at his hat. Don't you see? It's taller! Look, Star, I get it. The first time I saw a party magician, I was pretty emotional, too. Now, if you don't mind... I'm gonna go enjoy some birthday magic. Mr. Preston, would you do a magic trick for me? Of course I can, Jennifer. First, I'll need an ordinary Jennifer. $5 bill. Sure. Hey, uh, where's my wallet? Are you looking for He's this? got it yet. It's your wallet. Whoa, no way. Preston, change out. <laughs> that was... Uh... Hey, 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 what was that? Why is Marco sad? Marco, why are you sad? I'm not sad. I merely <laughs> performed a bit of sleight of hand, my dear. No way. You're a real magic user. Takes one to know one. I already told you. I'm a magician. <laughs> What's happening? He, 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 did, he did a trick, and his light came out, and the hat, hat, his big hat. Star, my mom hired Preston. Entertain us. He's just doing his job. I'm getting the sense that my magic act isn't welcomed here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> We love it. You and your voice talents are welcome here, Mr. Al. It's not real. The point of Earth magic is to allow yourself to be entertained by pretending that it's real. Just like love. Who wants cake? Uh, <laughs> boy. I'll go look for him. I, Sensei! I don't think you should be bringing up love around hey, stuff. Sensei, have you seen Sensei? Sensei. Who cares? Nothing matters anymore. Preston Changeo! Hey, wakey wake, it's time for cake! Wait, no more magic? Not until after the cake. Then there'll be magic for everyone. Yay. Is he like sucking the joy out of everyone? Preston, it is the end of the line, mister. Fess up, you're doing something to these folks. Now tell me what it is. All right, okay, okay, you got me. Look, look, I'm not human, all right? I, I'm a joy sucker. A what? Yeah. A joy sucker. Sadly, I can't create my own joy. So I suck a bit of the joy from others when I perform my tricks. Think of it as, you know, taking their empties. You took a lot more than a little from Sensei just now. Yeah, but that dude really loves magic. <laughs> he had a lot to say. Yeah, spare. I can imagine. You gotta go. But I have a party to entertain. You want the one. Sensei's been on my wait list since he was a little boy. At least let him have the satisfaction of seeing my grand finale. I mean, his mom paid for me to be here. I, I kind of owe it to him. You're just gonna suck all their joy. Come on, look. My hat's full. I don't even have room for any more okay. of their joy. You don't want to ruin a guy's birthday, do you? All right, fine. Do <laughs> your finale. But I'm watching you, little man. You start to suck joy, you get the wand. Deal! <laughs> promise, no joy sucking. Say it. I promise. Be cool, Star. Do it for Sensei. Just stay cool. Uh, what did that poor tree ever do to you? Yeah, that's one word for it. Uh, Marco, I thought you were a neater eater than that. Everywhere! I just want to thank you all for showing up to my 38th birthday bash. Especially Wait, this is your birthday? I'm going home. Preston Changeo! Because without him, this party would be totally lame. Preston Changeo! Oh, well, he's honest. I think that's adorable that his mother is in his lap like that. <laughs> How about a little girl from the audience, please? 
Take me! Take me! What a pretty little girl. <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Yeah, it's lost. This thing is sharp. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Star is more than a little paranoid. I think it's all these run-ins she's been having. Preston, Shinjo. That's why he wanted to do the finale. A massive suck up to transform or something. What you doing, huh? What are you doing? Sorry, Sensei. I tried to be nice. Tell him, Preston. Tell him the truth about your magic. All right, all right, okay, fine. It's true. I don't do real magic. All my tricks are just that. Tricks. I did keep my cards up my sleeve. Uh -huh. The rabbit I pull out of my hat? Paper. Oh man, spoiler alert. The blades <laughs> aren't even sharp. What? What? I knew I didn't feel dismembered. <laughs> Not so you know oh, how thing. <laughs> you know oh, how yeah. it feels right well i suck a little bit of joy from your heads every time i do my tricks it's harmless really no, what no, is it with no. weird owls characters and stealing dirty. things like enchantelligence <laughs> that kid had no joy in him to begin with you still shouldn't take their joy it's theirs <sighs> you're right i i'm sorry it's what i do i can't help myself oh. Cares. That <coughs> girl just ruined our magic show! Wait, what? Me? No, but he was the one stealing your joy and making you sad! You just stole my joy forever! Oh, Maybe wow. Turn it back around. Gone. They'll never see a magic show again. Happy now. Oh. I'm a happy guy. He can have my joy. Wait, no, I helped! Wait, 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 wait. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> Is all you want a magic show? <laughs> yeah, that's what we wanted. <laughs> Exits that way. I'm not sure it was worth ruining Sensei's birthday just to be right. What? No, you weren't right, Star. Preston's birthday magic was fake. Yeah, but I was right that Preston was magically sucking people's joy. Ah, uh, stop arguing, both of you. <clears throat> you did ruin my birthday magic show, okay? But you were right. That little guy was a creep. <laughs> How do I know about it stealing my joy? Yeah. By my next birthday, I'll forget any of this ever happened. And magic will be real again. But for now, I'm just gonna be bummed out. And it's okay. Glad you I didn't get all my joy. You're gonna up, completely you know? forget? Where is Preston anyway? What kind of drugs oh, yeah. are you doing yeah, in between? In what? Weirdo. <gasps> no way. Disappeared. I was right all along. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Some people did warn that Trickstar would feel like a bit of a filler. And while it's true that I didn't think there was as much to say while I was uh, watching it, um, I still don't consider filler to exist in a cartoon series um, that from the beginning had a balance of plot advancement episodes and slice of life episodes. You know, that was one of the slice of life episodes off the back of a plot episode so I can imagine why some people would instinctually start calling it a filler but <laughs> uh, the first episode, um, uh, Raid the Cave, went partly how I expected and partly not how I expected. Um, I did expect another little skirmish with Ludo and stuff, but then Glossary during the battle to be like, no, I, I have to stay. But instead, uh, Star did it the sneaky way around and I like that sort of smart thinking, uh, using the eye to find him. And um, it basically confirmed what a lot of people were thinking, that Glosseric is bound to the book and whoever owns the book, it's not really his choice. And because he's some sort of cosmic being who's seen many generations come and go, it's like, oh, you know, friendship is such a simple concept. <laughs> 
like, you know, he just goes with the flow and does whatever. Then I do respect a guy like that. <laughs> you know, that's like living the life, really. But, yeah, it seems that Star in general is a little more on edge now because um, she was super excited for fortune cookies in season one when she thought they were real and this time she, when she could tell that the magician was real she went for I need to stop this guy and get him out of here mode without even you know checking to see if he was even all that evil so I think there's been a change in Star's mindset she's a little bit more serious minded now uh, in the fact that she she's going to start perceiving every little thing as a threat or something like she i wouldn't call it vigilance uh, because a character like star can always be taken off guard but she's she's definitely been put on the more defensive that's that's what i think you know so the events from 14 and 15 probably led into how she was feeling in this episode, uh, Trickstar. And it's always good to see Weird Al coming back to voice characters. Uh, last time I saw him was Probabilitor in Gravity Falls. And as I said, he stole people's intelligence. And now he's stealing people's joy. Uh, what's he going to steal next? <laughs> I don't know, maybe you could play one of the changelings instead of cheese sandwich in MLP. Steal some love. <laughs> and by that I mean any that haven't converted. Maybe, you know, because there were those ones on account of four in the village after the finale. But anyway. Yeah, a good step back into the show. Um, I'm not going to leave feeling too disappointed because, I, as I said, I'm going to try and watch all of season two tonight. So more episodes are coming and hopefully I'll have more to say about them. But this was a good warm up, getting back into the swing of it and, you know, basically putting coal in the fire to start the train moving. So we'll be moving on to the first carriage very soon. Until then, I shall see you guys next time.